back for the solar system finding thing, I like the solar system map finding thing, I want something that can simulate Keplerian orbits, not simulate much else, allow for a lot of customization and, and detail, and, and be easy to use. This one's interesting as it... I'm gonna go ahead and start making the test system here. Uh, as... It, it, as you entering things in fields, uh, so I'm just gonna input the uh, orbital stats in. Oh no, 0 0.03, 0 0.05. Uh, Mercury size, Earth size, Jupiter size. Where's the Neptune size? I can't make Proxima C in this! <laughs> I guess I'll just approximate it with Jupiter size. I guess that, like, they're going for a gas giant, so I guess I... Okay. And it's probably just going to figure everything out for us. Uh, so let's see what it does. It is probably too hot for life to exist here. I wonder... I guess it's just that the star they're using is just... Let, well, let me look. A red Proxima... The Centauri temperature. No, it's like literally the right. I guess it's just too bright, or something. I guess it's just trying to simulate eccentricity. Let me try eccentricity zero. No, nope, nope. Uh. Mm. Uh, here, I guess. I I'm surprised it doesn't simulate tidal locking. So yes, I am having a bit of trouble getting Proxima B to work. Okay, here we go. Uh, Proxima B is orbiting a little far. It says system stable. It's a little big. Is it a little big? Uh, Proxima B radius. No, that is about right. Though, I guess it would be better to approximate Proxima D as being Earth sized. -ized. And yes, it does seem to have simulated the radii basically correctly, except for, of course, Proxima C being too big. I also can't make the moon, so it gets so it g so unfortunately, despite all the stuff it simulates, it gets an F for a for that damned moon. <laughs> uh.